Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 10. And in this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you guys about inserting stuff into your table. So in other words, adding a new row to your table. But before we get started with this tutorial, I just wanna send a huge shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. So Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp and they'll teach you everything you need to know to become a web developer, an iOS developer, or a UX designer within 12 weeks. So if you are looking to make a career change, go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description below. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Right, so now let's take a look at how to insert stuff into our tables. And I think for this example, we can take a look at the users table. So let's go ahead and click on that. And one of the things you're gonna wanna make sure you can do or make sure you know uh, before trying to insert stuff into a table is how many columns you have in that table and what values need to go where, right? So it is very important that you study your SQL or your SQL table. So let's click on users. And uh, yeah, uh, if I take a look at my table structure over here, you can see that I have an ID, I have a username, a password, a user email, a first name and a last name. But here's a really important detail is my ID, uh, which is also my primary key has been set to auto increment, which means that if I don't specify a value for my ID, it's going to automatically increment to a new number. Now that is a very important detail. Yeah, so just make sure that you uh, know what's in your table and also which values have auto increments set and um, you know if there is an auto fill value somewhere along the line that you know what that auto fill value does, right? So in this case, auto increment is, is something that we need to be aware of and uh, Let's go over to browse and that's going to let me see the table. So I can kind of see that my ID has an ID that is always auto incremented. And uh, yeah, if I don't specify a value for my ID, the next number is going to just be 16. Uh, username, uh, you can see that we fill in usernames here and there doesn't seem to be any kind of rule except for the fact that none of these have spaces. Um, but uh, yeah, then after that, we've got the username and yeah, usernames kind of just seem to be a bunch of characters. So yeah, not too many rules there. Password, same thing. User email, obviously that's just an email address. Uh, first name and last name. Uh, and these are actually allowed to be blank. So now that we kind of know the table and we're kind of familiar with the table, let's uh, go over to the SQL tab and actually start typing some code. So let's type in the query. And in this case, I wanna type in uh, insert into, and those are gonna be all caps because those are SQL keywords. Um, now this next part uh, is probably gonna be easier if I just type it out and then explain it to you once I'm done. Uh, but uh, basically you need to put in a table name. So table, open up some parentheses, and uh, yeah, um, uh, basically uh, put in some columns. So each one of these is going to be a column and you're gonna separate each column with a comma. And then you're going to type in a keyword values. So values is a, an SQL keyword. So it's important that you type that in there, otherwise it's not gonna work. Uh, and then uh, open up another pair of brackets or parentheses and you can end off your query with a semicolon, although I haven't actually been doing that for most of my tutorials. So uh, yeah, then in the values parentheses, you're also going to need to add in some values and each one of these values has to be separated with a comma. Now, the important thing is whatever value you put in here has to line up with whatever um, field you choose to add over here. Um, so we can get our columns from this tab over here because I'm using MySQL, but let's pretend we weren't using MySQL and we couldn't actually see this stuff. Uh, yeah, I kind of told you guys already to study your database, so you need to know um, what values you need to put in here. Uh, and basically, there are six columns in this table, so I can add in six values. So the first one will be ID, second one will be username, uh, password, uh, comma, the next one will be user underscore email. Um, then 
first underscore name and last underscore name. Is there another one over here? No, there isn't. Great. Okay, and then for values, like I said, any value that I put in here has to correspond with the value or the uh, column number over here. So in this case, an ID is going to be whatever's next in the column. Um, password, uh, okay, username is gonna be whatever the user's name is. Uh, that one will be password. So that's um, whatever we want to use for the password. The next one will be user email, first name, and last name. So all of those kind of need to line up. Now, something I did kind of mention to you guys already um, is that ID has been set to auto increment. So actually, I don't need to supply ID as an argument here, which means I don't need to have it over here either. And that's just gonna mean that ID is going to automatically add itself and it's automatically going to increase from whatever the previous number was. Uh, so I'm going to not put that in here. And now let's fill in username. So for the username, I'll put in uh, Brad. <laughs> and for the, uh, uh, is that password? Let's just make, in, make up some random password like pass one, two, three, four. Uh, for the user's email, we can just make him brad at fakemail.com. Uh, for the first name, he can be uh, Brad. And the last name, he can be Goddard or something like that. So uh, let's copy this now. And hopefully I haven't made any errors. So let's hit go. And there is something. Insert into table, <laughs> there we go, right? Uh, so I basically didn't put in uh, what table I want to insert this into, so users. That is very important, because obviously if we don't have that there, this doesn't work, right? So now let's uh, copy this and hit go, and hopefully that works. Um, so insert into users, um, and then these values, and now I can go ahead and check that by uh, either browsing my table or uh, running a query to see if it's there. So if I uh, browse the table, I can see I now have a 16th user. By the way, I didn't supply ID. So you can see that that automatically got filled in. Uh, then we have uh, the name, which was the username that I selected. Password, obviously the password that I selected. Email was the one that I selected and first name and last name are the two that I, I put in my query. So that query seems to have executed perfectly and everything is in place. Uh, now, if you guys happen to have stuff jumbled around, it's obviously because you jumbled around your field names when you ran the query. Now, just before I end off this tutorial, I want to send a huge shout out to these guys. So these guys are my patrons who contribute $5 or more every single month. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos more often. So if you guys like the content that I create and you want to help me make more videos, then go ahead and check out uh, my Patreon page and contribute a little bit. And uh, yeah, another way that you guys can help is to subscribe leave a comment, like this video and share it because all of those things are really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.